Welcome to Yanko Africa. My name is Ama. I want to thank you for tuning in on today. And today I want to take you guys with me for a ride. I'm riding through the Hacho, um, Domi, Quabinia area. I'm not sure if I'll show Quabinia, but I am actually heading, I was looking for some things and um, right now I'm heading to get some fish. I was going to go out to Tema and get some fish, but there is a fish market located in the Atomic Domi area and so it's called Atomic Down at the roundabout there and they have a, a stand there that sells fresh fish that they get from Tema. They put it in the freezer and then they take it out and they clean it for us. So I'm going to be doing that. You're going to see that and it's going to have flies in it. So I'm warning you right now if you are squirmish, believe me, I don't eat fly infested food, but you tell me where in the world that you uh, can cook or clean fish outside and flies don't come. I'm from the south, I'm from South Carolina on the coast, and we are known for having fish, all sorts of seafoods, and if you uh, see food, and if you have ever been to any of the markets where they are on the shore where they clean fish, when they uh, prepare oyster shucking and crabs, if you still eat scavengers, you know, to each its own, um, you're going to see flies there too, okay? But um, of course, I'm going to clean it up and let you guys see, but I'm just writing right now. The section where we are in right now, you see these beautiful mahogany trees. I actually wanted to show you more. It's uh, heading towards what is called Atomic Down, and the, the road here is lined with those beautiful trees. And so just ride with me, guys. To the right, right there, what you're going to see is some basketball courts. So there are several places in Ghana where you'll find basketball courts, and that's just one of them. So if you want to get your hoops in, that's one of the places right there that you can do it heading towards the Atomic Down Junction or Roundabout. Okay, so as you can see, I'm at the fish market. I actually started this after I got there. I um, got out and told them what I wanted, which is uh, the redfish, and they're cleaning redfish for me. There are freezers behind them where the fish is stored, so these fish were not sitting out exposed to flies. Of course, when they start cleaning, they are outside, and so flies are going to come. And so you, once again, if you're a squirmish, then this is not um, something for you. What you're seeing right now is the uh, scales flying everywhere, and I'm recording. And this is the first time that they've even attempted to fillet. So um, although they're not, you know, professional at filleting it, they're professional at what they normally do. And um, they, I think they did a great job, which you'll see later um, after I clean it very well and cook it up. And this is Ghana Fisherman fish, right? Not yeah. Chinese fish. And guys, if I haven't told you, thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much. I appreciate I appreciate each and every one of you. I thank you for taking the time to subscribe, to comment, to uh, share, to like. I really appreciate it. And also, I wanted to say that I had an accident with my computer. I cracked the screen, so I do not have access to full access as I usually do. And so if you're commenting, I may or may not be able to reply or post your comments. So please be patient with me. And if you've contacted me on the website, that has also been delayed due to this. I will be replacing my computer shortly and actually getting some other equipment, I hope. Um, so um, just please bear with me and I appreciate your patience. <laughs>
So she's almost done here. I am so proud of them because like I said, this is the first time that they've done it. She got all of those bones out. This is a redfish, which is more like a flounder. It's really thick like a flounder. Um, the tilapia that they serve is not like the tilapia that we have here. It's a different species of it in the U.S. that we have in the U.S. is a different species. And so um, I think it's a better and a healthier fish, the one that they have there. But uh, this redfish is really good. It's, it's a thick, meaty kind of fish like flounder. And so she's going to get the bag now to put it in a bag, plastic bag. And this only cost me about $4.65. I cost, of course, I um, tipped them and everything for the pieces that I got. And so that was a good portion of good thick fish um, and very tasty for about $4.65. Now they have the tilapia, which is less, but I wanted this particular fish. So this is me after I took it home, washed it, scrubbed it. That's lemon, although it looks like a lime and I've already, it's much juicier than that. I'd actually, um, my son actually squeezed some earlier um, and I was using the rest of it because it is really juicy, okay? Even after, you, after you've used it, there's lots of juice still left in there, okay? So that's it after it's cleaned up, and believe me, I cleaned it very, very well, okay? And so I'm getting ready to season it, and I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way, the way my mom did it with just flour, salt, and pepper. And I usually don't eat flour because of gluten sensitivity, but I did with this, okay? And so um, there is a local flour also, there are different uh, types of flour like cassava, rice flour and such that won't give you that gluten response if you have a, a sensitivity to gluten. But um, I used the regular flour and it was very good and tasty. So next you're going to see me getting it prepared and just dropping it in the oil. And that's the water after I had finally rinsed and rinsed and rinsed and washed and gotten it really clean. Okay. All right, so this is a self-rising wheat flour. I used the salt and the pepper, and that's it. I'm getting ready to drop it all in the grease, and you should see that, and I mean grease, oil, <laughs> after um, you see this. So hopefully this will transition over to that. And I thank you guys for staying in here and watching to the end. I do appreciate those of you who view until the end. God bless you. I appreciate all of you, but especially those who watch until the end. Now, this oil, I do not know what has changed with Phytol, but it has started doing this little bubbly little thing here. So I've actually switched to another oil, but because I'm cooking fish, I just went ahead and used the Phytol. Um, but for my other foods, I use uh, different brands. But it's, uh, you know, this time around, I don't know what's up with their oil. It's doing this bubbly thing. No matter what you cook, it does this right here. But um, it's frying really, really well there. And that's the end result right here, honey. And it was delicious, okay, delicious. And I have to admit, my son dropped a piece on the floor and I don't eat things off the floor, but I ate that, okay? And it was delicious. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. If you want to know where this fish market is, it is located at Atomic Down Junction. So that's the uh, lemon again, very juicy, looks like a lime, but um, ask the driver or you can drive yourself to Atomic Down Circle and ask anyone there where is the fish market and they will be able to point you in the direction of those ladies okay so thank you very much for tuning in and as soon as I go back down there and take a picture I may come back and add it to the thumbnail I'm not sure if I'll do that or not but we'll see all right thank you guys and Shalom have a wonderful day